Today we're going to be looking at the City Select 2, the newest iteration of Baby Jogger's long-standing tandem stroller. We've repaired several Selects over the years, but have generally shied away from covering the model on the channel, as, though Baby Jogger has always been one of our favorite three-wheeler manufacturers, we've generally found most of their four-wheelers, the Select included, a bit lacking. That being said, there have been quite a few changes with the model, and, given the Select's quite reasonable price of around 600 bucks, in other parts of the world at least, here in Norway it's nearly double, we decided it's worth giving this newest iteration a thorough rundown, discussing the model's advantages and disadvantages in terms of child comfort, ease of use, performance and mechanics, as well as in relation to which lifestyles and environments it will best suit. And starting off with some stats, the Select 2 clocks in at a little over 12 kilos and folds down to 96 by 61 by 30 centimeters with the seat attached, though it's worth noting that removing the seat will make it more compact. The Select 2 can take a little over 20 kilos in each seat and 7 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. As far as child comfort is concerned, the model has a bucket seat with an adjustable leg rest, an inside width of 30 centimeters, and a total length of just under 100 centimeters, measured by adding together the lengths of the leg rest, baseboard, backboard, and space beneath the canopy, with both the leg rest and canopy in their most extended positions. And as such, will be most comfortable for children up until around 3 years old or so. The textile quality on the model seats is decent for the price, with nice padding, feeling soft to the touch, and including a multi-layered canopy that provides good sun coverage, though I would nitpick the fact that the canopy hinges don't lock open as tightly as I'd have liked. Mechanically, the positional adjustment mechanisms for both the recline and leg rest are quite sturdy, and there's also the option of shortening the leg rest, which can be useful for fine-tuning two-child configurations. When it comes to parent comfort, the Select 2 has an adjustable handle with a height range between 103 and 109 centimeters, and a shopping basket that, while large enough, can feel a bit difficult to access due to the positioning of the rear crossbar. Folding the Select 2 is easy, involving standard handle arm located triggers that feel lighter on the fingers than the setup on the original Select, and when folded, the size of the model isn't too bad for getting in the trunk, though as I already mentioned, you may need to remove the seat. As far as the overall feel of using the Select 2 is concerned, the activation mechanisms in general, versus the wider market as opposed to just the previous Select, take a bit more force to use than is common, but feel sturdy and well fitted, and this feeling of sturdiness extends to the overall chassis as well, where the model's thick bars and substantial reinforced connection points are even borderline chunky feeling, though also durable and free of looseness. Driving-wise, the use of 7-inch front wheels and no rear frame suspension makes the Select 2 very much a city model, capable of tackling rougher urban conditions like gravel, park paths, and cobblestones, but not the best to use off-road. And the model's length also makes it a little heavy to steer and tip, in particular in tandem configurations, but also as a single-child model, at least in comparison to some of the better competing tandems on the wider market. Alright, let's move on to the mechanics of the Select 2 then, going over the model from top to bottom, where the handle uses a wire and pin telescopic setup for height adjustment that's built quite sturdily and has internal components separate from those used to activate the rotating folding mechanisms at the center of the chassis, Baby Jogger's long used and quite durable easy fold system, which remains essentially the same as on the previous iteration, while the arm mounted folding triggers by contrast are a new and very welcome update, replacing handles located directly at the point of the fold on the previous version that often ran into problems a few years down the road, becoming heavy to pull and even sometimes breaking. As far as the overall structure of the chassis is concerned, the Select 2 has solid horizontal support in the form of its thick crossbars and handle and is unlikely to suffer from any sort of symmetry problems as a result of loosening down the road. Not that the model is likely to loosen up that much anyway due to its rather heavy duty connection points. Moving down to the rear frame, there's again no suspension, which means that, though the wheels and the structure of the chassis will sufficiently absorb most shocks from broken sidewalks and other lighter rough terrain, truly bumpy ground will make driving a bit jittery. Looking at the brake system, the Select 2 marks a return to the sort of foot-activated setup found on earlier Baby Jogger models, though updated a bit both in the pedal and in that it's more enclosed, which is a simpler and more durable brake system than the wire-based, handle-mounted static brake used on the original Select. Lubricating the Select 2's brakes a couple of times a year and flushing out road salt if you live somewhere snowy are important to prevent rust and keep the channels free of pebbles and grit. But beyond this, my experience is that this sort of system tends to hold up well over the years and is easier to fix than wire-based setups if problems do eventually pop up. 
When it comes to the wheels, the way they lock within the rear frame makes them unlikely to develop problems with the locking mechanisms, though, as with the brakes, a little lubrication is definitely advised. The composition of the tires on the Select has been a little bit of an issue in the past, in terms of holding up to wear from pebbles and rougher ground, where they can get a bit ugly after a few years of use. Though from what I can find, it looks like Baby Jogger has changed up the formula a bit, and for the overall industry, rubberized foam has also definitely gotten better in the last couple of years, so hopefully this will be less of a problem with the Select 2. Looking lastly at the front frame, the Select 2 has standard suspension built into the forks, but no swivel locks, which is quite unconventional, but does reduce mechanical complexity, as well as fit with the urban orientation of the model, where smoother streets make swivel locks generally unnecessary. The forks themselves sit nice and tight in the wheel housings, at least right out of the box, though it's important to note that the tight connection here results solely from the use of ball bearings, and since there are no suspension pads or any other form of wobble protection besides these bearings, keeping the axles lubricated with a thicker grease to prevent them from rusting to the bearings so that they can be removed will be crucial as the bearings are likely to loosen down the road and require replacement. So, should you consider getting the Baby Jogger City Select 2? Maybe. My top criterion for judging tandem models has always been that they justify their added size and weight by being competitive in terms of either terrain capability or storage capacity in the single child mode versus other single child only models, and though the Select 2 is better than the original in this regard, it still fails in these respects versus strollers like the Boogaboo Fox, the Upper Baby Cruise V2, or other tandems like the Vista V2 or the Nuna Demigro. That being said, however, it is a lot cheaper than these models, and when comparing the Select 2 then to other strollers actually within its price class, it does a lot better. And thus, provided that a tandem model is what you're looking for, that price is a strong factor in your purchasing decision, and that you live in a relatively smooth environment, the Select 2 is a model worth considering due to its acceptable price and weight, the return to a foot-mounted brake system, and the fact that the engineering is significantly sturdier than what is common in its price class. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page, which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle-related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.